Criterion. Parents of the Burnout franchise and creators of the most controversial titles from the Need for Speed series, this game studio is known for being incredibly ambitious and pushing boundaries with each game they make. Sadly, some of those ambitions were too high. Despite all of that, Criterion was and is a very creative team, but also incredibly daring. They wanted to add boats and planes to Burnout Paradise, and they also wanted to make Most Wanted 2 a direct sequel to the first one instead of a reboot. But anyways, those are topics for other videos. In today's episode, I'll talk about Criterion's most ambitious project, their magnum opus of arcade racing, a special project that this time would go beyond cars. Let's go back to 2011. Electronic Arts founds EA Gothenburg, a new studio that would focus in the future of the Need for Speed franchise. Criterion developed the previous entry in 2010, so in theory, this would let the studio work on other projects. But the end result was rather… different. In 2013, 80% of the employees from Criterion moved to EA Gothenburg, now rebranded Ghost Games, to help with the development of Need for Speed Rivals. Criterion was left with just 17 employees, and by January of 2014, their two founders leave the company. Still, with this little team, the studio starts working on their biggest and most ambitious project, Beyond Cars. The name says it all. They would leave the cars behind and dive into the world of extreme motorsports. With the idea of extreme racing with new kinds of vehicles in mind, Criterion used the extreme sports videos filmed in GoPros as another source of inspiration. The game would be played in first person, offering ADVs, buggies, bikes, motor boats, helicopters, planes, jet skis, and snowmobiles. The gameplay would go further, integrating vehicles between each other. The player would have been able to jump from one vehicle to another using parachutes or wingsuits. Judging by the footage from these gameplay prototypes, the boost feature from Burnout would come back and be usable, even on wingsuits. You could also tell that the people at Criterion loved seeing cars crash, because this was gonna be in here too. Beyond Cars would have implemented takedown mechanics, just like Burnout. The game promised freedom on moving however you wanted in a world with varied biomes that were never explored before by the studio. Beyond Cars was announced in 2014's E3 Expo, and after the reveal, the game disappeared. There was nothing but radio silence for a couple of years. The last thing we knew about the project was in 2016, when a football player made a tweet saying that he was playing the game in the Criterion offices, and he was very excited about it. Not so long after that, Criterion announced that they would cancel the project to support the development of Star Wars games. Truly an anticlimactic end to this unique and refreshing take on not just arcade racing, but vehicular combat and extreme sports. So, what do you think about it? Would you rather see Burnout make a triumphant comeback or try Beyond Cars just for the thrill of it? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching until the end, share this video with someone you think would like it, and subscribe if you want. See you next time.